Ecosystem Creation and Management, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 297. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 297, December 2nd, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I'd like to talk about is ecosystem creation and management. As a certified permaculture designer, uh, permaculture is about creating sustainable ecosystems, looking at what nature does right and replicating that, becoming conscious and conscientious stewards of our environments so that we can create abundant, self-sufficient, self-sustaining environments following the principles of nature. nature. And so everything that you see happening in the background of this video right here is one community's foundation for creating ecosystem, uh, for ecosystem creation and management. The idea being that we can be conscious and conscientious stewards, and we think that most people will choose to do that if there's enough individual and personal benefit. We don't believe that people will do it just because it's the right thing to do. I mean, if people were already were going to do it for that reason, they already would. I mean, it is the right thing to do. It makes a lot of sense to take care of our planet and to do what's right and to create a sustainable civilization, to be able to take care of those of us that need it the most, to address homelessness, to address poverty, to address starvation, to address social inequality and injustice. These things make sense. And there are lots of people out there that are doing it because we believe it's the right thing to do. There's lots of people out there that say, hey, this is just, it needs to happen. And for no other reason than it needs to happen, we should do it. But the reality of it is, is that's not most people. While it is lots of people, ecosystem creation and management takes work. It takes effort, it takes time, and it takes money. And so what you see happening in the background of the video here is our approach to creating environments that provide enough of what people need, that provide an abundant lifestyle and enough free time and everything that people need to live to live fully, completely, to live abundantly. So from that place, if they want to, and we think this will increase the number of people that want to, because once you have enough, most people, and there's been a whole lot of research that's been done on this, once people have enough, most people will lend a hand to their fellow human. Most people, if they have enough for themselves, will share with others. We're taught this from a very, very young age, and it is in our souls, I believe, that and so one community has been created to provide enough of what people want, a surplus, so that people can share that. And that's a surplus of time, surplus of energy, a surplus of money, and a surplus of, of community coming together, cooperative living, collaborative living, and showing that that model can be replicated globally. And that we get more if we give more. And so the one community's model is designed for ecosystem creation and management by building the foundations necessary for all of us to be conscious and conscientious stewards of our environment, to help each other, first and foremost, to help ourselves, then to help each other, to help our local communities, and to help our global community through cooperation and collaboration. And the whole model is designed such that the more you give, the more we open source, the more we free share, the more we give what it is that we're creating, the more successful we'll be. The more fun we're having, the more amazing the lifestyle is that we're creating, the more people will want to come and visit and experience what it is that we're doing. The marketing model is designed around sharing everything that we're doing, open source and free sharing, everything that we're creating. And we're covering all aspects of sustainability. Food, energy, and housing are the physical foundations of sustainability that everybody is aware of, but we are also covering the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together in a complete model to build teacher demonstration hubs that we feel most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And ecosystem creation and management is a big part of that. The first 
the home ecosystem, and then the village ecosystem, and then the surrounding ecosystem, applying permaculture principles and highest good ways of living to all aspects of everything that it is that we're doing as an evolution of sustainability that takes those physical foundations, combines them with the emotional foundations, and open sources and free shares all of it so it can be replicated as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. Our idea is that rather than send aid to Africa, let's build teacher demonstration hubs in Africa that brings the resources there and teaches other people how to replicate what it is. Let's create a model that makes it beneficial for people to invest in cooperative living in places that need it the most. This is our idea for ecosystem creation and management. And from this place, we're, co we're covering all aspects of the human experience so that we're not just managing the traditional ecosystem, which would be our, our natural environment, but also the ecosystem of interpersonal relationships, the ecosystem of information change and exchange and sharing, the ecosystem of communal living, and expanding that to embrace the global ecosystem as well and to support the global ecosystem as well. And we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this as attractive enough, ecosystem creation and management through teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs can become self-replicating. We can create solution models designed to create additional solution creating models, and we can create a world for the first time, arguably for the first time in the history of humanity, that truly works for everybody, addressing simultaneously all of the challenges of this generation and generations to come with a model that is flexible, adaptable, and built on the foundations of thinking and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet. This is what we're up to. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of ecosystem creation and management as an, as an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization working to the best of our ability for the highest good of all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly Instructions. The focus this week was updating the front and side measurement images with the bed down and the front side and top images with the table in the down position. You can see some of this work in progress here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 26th week volunteering and now helping with the Earth Bay Village materials and costs. This week, she finished the Earth Bay Village AutoCAD updates by adding different colors, legends, updated roadway and pathway area drawings, and roadway and paved area measurements. You can see some of this work here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued his work helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the Earth Bay Village. This week, Guy completed two more second-generation views of the village looking down and south over the tropical atrium, and this village view looking northwest. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 30th week helping with render additions. This week, he finished this Earth Bank Village render showing a perspective standing at the entry to the village and looking north. This image is now on the site, too. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 32nd week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, he made further updates to the bed box section, updated the wall section to address issues with access to the nightstand and create additional cubby storage, redid the parts map to include new pieces, and created more instructional diagrams for the wall section assembly. You can see some of this work here. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bank Village. Here is weekly update 140 from Dean. His focus this week was more design updates to eliminate fractions, starting to update the Murphy bed designs, and more labeling of components. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp Duplical City Center updates for the Social Dome and Dining Dome. We added the large hexagonal windows and smaller dormer windows to the Social Dome. We also designed windows for the Dining Dome that are located close to the hot tub area, as shown here. 
The core team also continued developing the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Design page. This week we developed the first two-thirds of the hydraulic calculations. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 105th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was placing and updating the lights for the basement, kitchen, and social and living domes, some of which you can see here. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, returned to helping finish the city center HVAC designs. This week he added the remaining ducting details into AutoCAD and finalized the equipment selection, some of which you can see here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also continued updating the duplicate city center materials and cost details by creating separate cost analysis tabs for each area of the project. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we continued researching information on goats, adding new information on the importance of goats in range management, and began researching llamas and donkeys as guardians for goats. We also finished behind the scenes edit suggestions for the remainder of the goat page on our website. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team identified the problems with our website database using too many server resources and started the process of correcting these errors. Emilio Nahera, digital marketer, also continued with his eighth week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for two more of our top-level food-related pages, the Transition Kitchen and Large-Scale Gardening pages. You can see some of this work here. In addition to this, the Highest Good Software team consisting of Shubra Mittal, Ashwarya Singh, Farhan Zaki, Jordan Miller, and Tyler Calvert continued developing the software. This week, the team researched Heroku, restored missing test script in package.json, and omitted incomplete describe blocks from the test suite, restructured Redux implementation to pass test suites, added Redux dev tools, and continued to build out Redux. They also started working on the time entry table. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards open source and free shared ecosystem creation and management through teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to be built around the world working in cooperation collaboration with each other. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, uh, visit our website, visit our written blog. You can see those details there. If you'd like to join our team or help out, visit our helping page. Easiest way to help out is to help through social media. Like this video, share this video, join us on social media. We're on all the different social media platforms to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, 
uh, Instagram, and about 15 other social media platform platforms to make it as easy as possible for you to access our information, for you to join us in our social media uh, networks, and for you to share our information. If you'd like to help us out, easiest thing to do, visit our website, share a page that you like. Help people see what it is that we're doing. Uh, and of course, if you've donated to our project, thank you for that. Just for watching the end, thank you for that. We are an all volunteer, 100% a volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization, and 100% of donations go towards forwarding our mission, not to paychecks. I'm not paid for anything that I'm doing here. Nobody else on our team is paid for what we're doing. We're all volunteer our time because we want to live this way, because we believe that a sustainable world that works for everybody is possible, and because we want to see humanity evolve to a sustainable civilization. We want to help each other. We know it's possible to reach that tipping point, and so this is what we are doing. So thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for your support. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.